All right, let's get something established right now. I'm tired. I didn't quite fall asleep on my drive home, but the minute I did get in and sat down, the eyes are closing. Might be able to tell that it's a little hard for me to keep them open now. Anyway, uh, I'm going to make this one brief because this is going to be a long day for me. I got to um, I got to get up in a few short hours to drive up to North Conway to perform tonight, which I uh, I have already done two other times this week, and uh, you know I actually enjoy performing up there, and I perform uh, I, I do enjoy performing this show. This is it's actually very well, what's the right word not relieving but it's it's just uh fulfilling it's just a fulfilling show once i've done it whatever that means uh anyway so i'm really tired so i went up on monday and then uh was supposed to drive to work afterwards of course i got no sleep like monday morning i got up at like eight o'clock in the morning never slept all day drove up to north conway and you know it's midnight and i'm driving back and uh, I just knew there was just no way that I was going to be able to stay away till 8, 9, 10 o'clock the next morning after being up since 8. So I had to bang in. Um, Tuesday, I didn't. I, I didn't really get much sleep. I mean, I slept normal. You know, I slept from midnight 1, 2, whatever, to 8. Got up again. Got a couple hours in the middle of the afternoon before I had to go up to North Conway. So I did have a few hours of sleep. So Tuesday wasn't so bad, but I was really tired driving home. And Wednesday, I finally had some time to kind of catch up on all my sleep. I didn't do anything Wednesday other than go to work, come back, and sleep. Well, I was up for four hours, but you know, doing some work, but that's about it. So today, now, where we are, is Thursday, and I only got a few more hours left before I got to get up and drive up to North Conway. Uh, some of you may notice that I actually have a shirt on in this one. I have done some laundry. Some of you would be happy to know that. Some of you probably don't care. I don't remember if it was that I didn't have any laundry or I was just really warm or I just didn't care, you know, whether or not I had a shirt on. I was probably getting comfortable, no shirt. Anyway, have a shirt today. I haven't taken it off yet. Uh, work's been uh, pretty interesting the last couple of days. Uh, tonight, last night wasn't so bad. The night before was a little bit busier, but still manageable. Not crazy, but, yeah, you know, it's work. It's work. Got to deal with some strange people down there, but have to deal with them anywhere. You ever, you know, we uh, sayings, a lot of sayings were coming up last night and the night before. Um, would you ever hear those? You know, like you make, you, you make that face and it's going to stay like that, or, you know, you keep, masturbating your hand you know hair is going to grow on the palm of your hand anybody ever hear that one look this is proof that that stuff doesn't happen okay because if anybody's going to have it grow it would have been me um whatever did you need to know that no i was just going over some sayings and those are the ones that came up i don't remember really why oh man i'm tired I've only been talking for four minutes, and it feels like it's, you know, been a lot longer already. Um, do you ever remember this one? This is a cool one. Um, I remember this from, like, a kid. Like, every time you said you did something, you know, if it was almost like the anti-bragging comment. You know, you'd say something, and somebody would say, what do you want, a medal or a chest to pin it on? Anybody ever hear that one? If I was to look for the origin of it, I got a couple guys out there that could look it up, don't I? What do you say, guys? Maybe it's just a high school thing. Maybe it was a maybe even before high school. I don't even remember. Um, I'm curious about the palm, the hair on the palm, though. That one too. Come on, guys, help me out. Uh, I learned out something new last night too. I. I not familiar with nursing, and I mean, very. No, I'm not familiar with that much of nursing. I will have to say, 
but um, I realized for the first time last night that they have something called a beers list. To a lot of people, that's going to be something very specific. Even me. But a beers list is actually named after somebody who came up with a list of drugs that are not to be recommended for elderly people. And the only reason it came up is because no matter what, all these recommendations are are out there for 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 meds not to be giving to the geriatric elderly population, and yet they all have them. Now they're writing notes in like, oh, we're aware of the beers list. So over medicated population? Quite possibly. Oh my god, my head is pounding. I gotta get some sleep pretty soon here. Um, one thing I want to mention that uh, is kind of like a sour note, a downer note. Um, a friend of mine, good friend, good guy, um, he was on a cruise somewhere down in the, you know, near the islands there, the Caribbean, Caribbean. Does it even matter which way you say it? Uh, his father became ill suddenly and they were looking to airlift him off the ship and bring him back up here which you know it's something serious when when that happens well wound up that he wound up getting to St. Thomas or something and he took a quick flight over to San Juan I think and then flew back home but that is just crappy for anybody to go through you know you don't you don't wish that on people. You don't hope that happens to anyone. I mean, it's when their the fathers become sick, but um, you know, for I know it's going to happen to everybody. I mean, this is going to happen. This is life. This is what we go through, and you, you certainly don't wish that people that you you like and that are good people to have to go through it a certain way. You know what I mean? Like there's there's other ways that it could have happened, and that's one of the things where you just think. Why do things happen to some people? I, I don't know. It's kind of rotten. But uh, I am thinking about one of my friends out there. So, wish you all the best. You and the family. All right, anyway. Um, don't really, I don't know what else. I, how, what else can I say about that one? Um, you know, my shows went really well. Uh, in Manchester over the weekend they're very very fun um, and this show is fun in a different kind of way I mean it's really emotionally it just really brings out a lot of you and uh, I, I really like doing it really like doing the show and uh, we ran it on Monday for the first time because I, I hadn't been there for over a week so it was the first time with everybody it was a dress rehearsal before the first performance tomorrow night or Tuesday night. I don't even know where I am. Anyway, so there was a couple of hiccups, you know. So I'm thinking like, all right, all right, maybe bad dress rehearsal, good performance. And that's kind of exactly the way it turned out. The performance was really solid on Tuesday night. Um, the, uh, they were literally passing around tissue boxes at intermission, you know. I mean, it was just, people were just really involved in the story. And uh, it was... Uh, it was cool. It was cool that, that all those people that really were able to feel something, you know, that we that we did. So uh, maybe that's kind of why I like doing the show, you know, because the audience is affected somehow. I you know I'm affected by it. So anyway, I'm going now. Nine minutes. I'm really tired. Um I think I know some people that might even be coming up to the show. You know, this is a really long drive. And people from my last cast might come up to see the show. And, uh, <laughs> I, hey, I appreciate it. Believe me, this is a long drive. I don't expect anybody to come out and see it. But I'm around the southern part of New Hampshire. But uh, if you do, I, I hope I'm going to do my best to make it worth it. So um, hopefully I'll see some people. And uh, if not... No troubles there. Uh, I understand completely. But anyway, I'm going to get some sleep so I can go do this. And um, for anybody out there driving around this holiday weekend, safe travels to you.
until next time, Michael Scott Kittredge, over and out.